Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF News video. We got some very, very exciting topics to talk about today. A lot of merchandise news, a lot of news on the fanverse, and also Security Breach making a surprise appearance on a brand new platform. That is all the news we got to talk about today. We actually do have a bit more news, so hopefully pretty soon down the line, there's going to be yet another FNAF News video coming to your subscription feed. So if you do want to stay up to date with all the FNAF news, what's going on? in the FNAF series, subscribe to the channel. It's the best way to guarantee you do stay up to date. Without further ado, let's kick it off by talking about some brand new merchandise from FNAF AR of all places. Hey, the game may be dead, but the merchandise, it's still thriving. It's not the biggest merchandise drop, it's just a few extra posters based on FNAF AR by Trends. The one I've got on screen right now, actually in my opinion, looks pretty damn good. I wanted to go pick it up, but unfortunately it is out of stock. The best part about this poster is that it also glows in the dark. As you can see, it's freaking incredible. And we also got a few other posters in a bundle of two. Looks like you can get Firework Freddy, Mangle, Easter Bonnie and Broiler Baby, Scorching Chica and Balloon Boy, and also finally, you got Ringmaster Foxy and Plush Trap. Like I said, they are unfortunately out of stock, it seems. Hopefully they do become available pretty soon, because like I said, I'd love to pick up that Glow in the Dark poster. Moving on now to some FNAF Hex plushy news. We got Wave 3 revealed to us in a recent charity stream by Daco. This is the teaser, and as you can see, Wave 3 is going to include the main toy and animatronic. Unfortunately, excluding Mangle for now. As you can see, you got Toy Chica with the cupcake as well, Toy Bonnie with his guitar, Freddy, uh, Toy Freddy with his mic, and also Balloon Boy which is very interesting. It looks like he will feature both the balloon itself and also the balloon sign. So I am very, very excited and interested to see what the actual product of Balloon Boy looks like. There are a few other key notes I'd like to make about the Wave 3 uh, release and also future FNAF and Hex collabs that Daco mentioned on the stream as he showed off this teaser. Number one, Toy Chica's beak is removable. There is a magnet in there so you can take it off. And I'd assume it's gonna feature some mouth on the inside when you remove it to look like the actual endoskeleton mouth. Daco said that Balloon Boy has a propeller hat, which I'm assuming means it'll actually spin. He said Mangle is still being worked on in that uh, they will probably be a standalone release. Makes sense. If you haven't seen, this is a teaser for Mangle that got released uh, quite a while ago at this point, I think. So they're really trying to get a Mangle plush out. So far, it looks fantastic. And I really, really do hope we can get one down the line. Uh, speaking of Mangle, he said that Mangle's head, hands, and feet will be the actual plush material, but that their endo body will be plastic, so you can't actually remove the body parts, just the head, feet, and arms. I think this way so that I can actually have a proper weight, an actual stand. So yeah, a very complex plushie. Hopefully, progress is going along good, because I know a lot of people freaking love that mango plushie already and really hope it can come out. What's next for FNAF and Hex? Well, Daco said that the puppet and the withered animatronics will most likely be next for Wave 4. Absolutely no clue when that's gonna release. It seems like they're pumping out these waves pretty quick. I mean, you know, Fredbear and Spring Bonnie just released in May and now we're already getting teasers for Wave 3. Though once again, we don't know an actual set release date for Wave 3. We don't even know if all the products are done yet. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Speaking of plushies, u revealed a brand new plushie, this time Chica. We took a look at the Bonnie plushie uh, last episode, but now we have an actual Chica plushie. Looks pretty cute. Again, I think a lot of people are kind of mixed on the style of the plushies. Personally, I like it. I think it looks adorable. I can't wait to see what Foxy and Freddy look like. And if you don't know, we are getting uh, more plushies by U2s in the form of the Security Breach characters. So a lot of plushies by U2s. The FNAF 1 gang, we already got Vanny, and also Security Breach. Speaking of U2s, U2s and Security Breach. We got a brand new figure for 8-Bit Ryan. And the reason why I'm putting it in this FNAF News video is that it features the wind-up music man from Security Breach. Admittedly, he looks a little plain. I think he's missing uh, some coloring on his legs. But overall, I think he looks fantastic. Great figure. I believe it's dropping in a few days. Yeah, about a week on the 15th of July. And since we're talking about YouTuber, uh, FNAF YouTuber U2's figures, Daco, once again on the charity stream, revealed a brand new Glamrock Daco U2's figure. And finally, to wrap up the U2's news, we got our first look at the official 
Pop Goes U2s. In celebration of Pop Goes Evergreen hitting 20,000 Game Jolt followers, and also the sixth anniversary of the original Pop Goes, Kane released this teaser. And later that day, he finally dropped the official first look at the Pop Goes U2s, and my god, it looks so, so good. The detailing is insane. I love his pose. I love that he's shooting up like little finger guns. He looks so cute, man. He's so adorable. Uh, and fret not, because he does have a tail. So that is our first official look at some Fanverse merchandise. We did see a tiny glimpse of Ignited Freddy in a past TikTok by U2s. So all we're waiting on now is Candy the Cat. And speaking of Pop Goes, we got some big news. The next Fanverse game has officially been released pop goes arcade on steam everyone that's right the next fanverse game is finally here pop goes arcade the official uh spin-off fnaf game it's on steam right now it's actually on sale for i believe only one more day so if you're watching this video when it comes out Use the link down below, go get Pop Goes Arcade while it's still on sale. If you've not seen my playthrough, or I also know that Daco's doing a playthrough right now, loving watching him. He's got fantastic reactions. But also, if you do want to go play it for yourself, like I said, it's now out on Steam. Go show some support. Also, I just want to point out this amazing poster that Kane and uh, his girlfriend did for The Machinist. God, it looks so goddamn good. There has been a few updates here and there I'd like to point out. 2.0.1. Released the other day, and yesterday 2.1 came out with some major new key features, including a method of converting scrap into coins after beating the final boss, a way to rematch the secret boss, and three brand new achievements. So that is Pop Goes Arcade, brand new fan verse game official FNAF spin off. Also, just to be clear, I know there's a few evergreen teasers in Pop Goes Arcade, but I'm gonna hold off for a bit longer. Those are gonna be uh, featured in a upcoming FNAF news video, just so I can give, uh, you know, people a bit more time to experience the game before I'm like, throwing the teasers in a thumbnail for FNAF news, you know? Don't worry, I know about them, they're coming, they look freaking incredible, go experience them for yourself, go get the game. Oh, I can't stress it enough. It's a very, very fun game. Very quickly, let's talk about Scott's Dono to Daco's charity stream. I did make a whole video about this in case you missed it, but I'll throw it in this FNAF News video quickly. Basically, Scott donated a incredible $10,000, and he also left a comment very ominously saying, lots of big stuff happening this year. Stay tuned. Yeah, like I said, I did a whole video predicting what's coming out this year, what do we think Scott's talking about, what are we hoping to see out of FNAF this year. Me personally, I'd love to see an update on the FNAF film, that is long, long, long overdue. Also, mainly hoping to see a lot of fanverse content, seems like we're actually getting that already right now, with the U2s, with Pop Goes Arcade releasing. And finally, I just want a bunch more updates on Ruin, man. I mean, I know it's still probably very early in development, but it's so mysterious, and I really hope we can get a brand new teaser, or trailer some point later on in the year. That's just a quick update on what Scott said on the charity stream. Tell me in the comments down below, what do you want to see this year with FNAF? And finally, to end the video off, let's talk about security breach ports. We're not talking about the Xbox. We're not talking about the Switch. We're not talking about iOS. We're talking about the Google Stadia, of all things. So, Security Breach officially launched on the Google Stadia this week, and also, if you have Stadia Pro, you'll be able to claim it for free for the entire month of July. So yeah, that is the brand new platform that Security Breach is coming to. Very interesting. Well, that's gonna do it for all the FNAF news today. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, we still got a whole bunch of news to talk about. I'm looking at my list right here. We got some updates on the Fazbear Frights, uh, graphic novels, some Tales from the Pizzaplex news, and like I said earlier on in, in this video, we got some evergreen teasers from Pop Goes Arcade. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe, hit the like button so you don't miss out on future FNAF news videos, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.